Okay, I'm talking with Carl, our lead developer on the flexible inline edits. And it's best just to illustrate this to understand the power of what's been created here. This is a, we're in a development environment and we're looking at a quote. Now, one of the things that we did for a client is we created a whole task coordination system where we connected on lines of a traditional kind of order or say a quote, a task coordinator line. As you can see here by 441, 442, and 443, and so forth. And if I drill into one of these, you know, the whole task coordinator, which is about that line on the quote, has all kinds of information about status, various kinds of follow-up information, and so forth, right? And it's just a custom record then being used to track the, track, the, track the thing. Now, what we wanted to do here is on the actual transaction and in various contexts, notice we're in view-only mode. And the idea is, is that you have your traditional items area, which has its basic information. But now we have this area over here that we call coordination edits. And this is defined by a save search, giving us flexibility. Carl did really good work here. Um, so you have control over what it says. And this is not perfect for the demonstration purposes, but I think you'll get the basic idea. So notice here, we can come in and we're in, and we're in edit mode or view mode. We can, we can make changes. We can pop up a list here. And make changes. I can update something here, Marty. I got the support for drop downs, right, and so forth. And there can be other kinds of connection to information at various levels, including, Carl, if I'm not mistaken, you could connect to joined fields, right, that could be in another record while updating things here. And we have control over that. Is that true? Yes, we have joins and we have like summary, like grouping, grouping. maximums. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we got a lot of flexibility in here and so forth. But let me let me let me just illustrate, right? I put Marty over here. If we go back to that record and we look at 442, right? You'll now see Marty was updated here. There's some of these dates. Let me just so actually in whoops, got this right. Again, 441, 442. I'll just put some more dates here. Put uh, 41 and We'll put five one just to show that, right? Just tab right out of it. And then when I refresh this, the main record, right? There's four one and there's five one, okay? And so there's, there's a lot more we can talk about. But I think you'll get the basic gist of what we're doing. And just to show you what the script deployment looks like, right? The script deployment's pretty straightforward. You got a script, you deploy it against a particular record that you're interested in, right? Here, we're gonna apply it to a quote. You describe the save search that is a pointer and then that gets connected up into its thing, just like NetSuite tries to do sublists. Real power starts to come off in here. One uh, here is there's a whole field structure of describing the fields and how they are, um, how it's effectively you're trying to describe how each one of the fields work in the columns so it knows how to communicate and update the database. And over here, some options for being able to do the, uh, for being able to describe, uh, you know, the fact that that said coordination edits, like right here, see, it says coordination edits and so forth. So we try to give some control over that. But in essence, what we're doing is we're doing callbacks and we're passing in the data via parameters and so forth to the restlet, and it knows what to do. What's is it one restlet? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, it's there. Is a one back and three leg, I think. Got it. Okay, and so that's a that's a listening restlet, right? And because we're logged in and so forth, right, it, it'll. It honors all the security and so forth, right? So this has been really a breakthrough, and this also works in edit mode, right? It, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be in in view mode, right? You have, you can work in both ways, right? When you're when doing things yeah. like this, right? Uh, so I'm really impressed with what what Carl has done here and so forth, and so we see all kinds of use cases where this could be. We've got some ideas of how we'll make it better, but I think it shows the essence of it.